We're day one of recording our new album. Well, all we're really doing so far is um is gathering up the gear we're gonna need, taking it to where we're gonna record the drums. Did you ever see that Foo Fighters doco where um right. oh! That's no, it. I haven't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> no idea, no idea what you're talking What's about. What's the problem? The problem is it's not a fucking problem. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> Setting up our mobile studio. That's the newie. This is my new toy. Worth the shit. Warm audio. Compressor. Better than cold audio. It is better than cold audio, that's for sure. And through here we have where the magic happens. Rona Lights, mother effer, VLMF. So we're going to use our rehearsal space <coughs> as the recording booth for the drums because the drums will sound better in a space like this. So what we're doing today is setting up drums for recording for this Pizza? man. <laughs> and beers. All good if I get a shot of these chair stones. What is that? Um, how excited Mick gets when Nathan plays drums. Let me just get some light on that stain. That is a that is a primo Pre quality Pre stain. Pre quality seat stain. That is when you know your takes are good. <laughs> how do you feel about that being your seat for the for this recording session? And add to it. Sugar burger goo, shiggy bad flip. Did you get a shot of Johnny Five? Who's that? Oh, Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, there you <he> is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, Wally. 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 Apparently, this moves. What are you doing setting up your drum mics? Yeah, got to drag all this crap this way. Bring my drums somewhere in the middle. Get them reskinned tomorrow. Probably won't really move your kit, but we'll just move the shits around it. Leave it where it is? Yeah, leave it where it is. We'll put, there's enough room to put those things behind it. And we'll shove an amp cab in each corner. Why are you putting the cabs in the corner? Just kill a bit of the room a bit. It's just sound. Just the Not, sound. They won't actually be on, they'll just be. No, they'll just be. Like noise barriers. Just reshaping the room. Cool, cool. Anything else we got to do to the room to make it sound good? Well, I've got those panels that go on the back of these, so we can hang them up. Yeah. Kill a bit of noise. If you want to do that. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll film. Okay. <laughs> you do it. I'll oh, film. Been, that's what I've been thinking about, man. You're never in the footage. Your yeah. footage is rad, and yet you're not in it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll film everything like this. That's it. Should I rig up a chest piece with a stick? So selfie that, yeah. stick. Selfie stick on a Tim Sim on a stick. Greasy. Got a shiny forehead. How's mine look? Probably not as shiny as mine. Ew. Look at that stick carnage. I'll tell you one thing for sure. There's definitely a little critter that lives in that hole. You hear it? Yeah, I always hear it standing over here because yeah. I stand in this corner, corner when we rehearse. You can always hear him crittering around. Crittering. If you're listening to the new Verona Lights album and you think you can hear a critter in your roof, it's probably part of the album. Is that precision? Absolutely astonishing work. No biggie diggy. I can put some music on in a minute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Listen to the sweet sounds of Nathan Hamry. I've got a question Go for, for you guys. Let me hear about it. What is your favourite Blink-182 song? Oh. Do you know what? I really love this album. I think you can tell a lot about a person by their favourite Blink-182 song. <laughs> That's a lot of right here. It's a hard one, isn't it? Yeah. Because I like... Um, California off the new album because oh. it's a bit mm. it's a bit dirty and, and grungy like heavy grungy yeah, heavy. and I dig that sound in Los Angeles I mean oh, it's hard to say California like that one I meant, I meant Los Angeles 
Los Angeles, California. What's that? That's um. You're thinking of that um Phantom. Oh, what are they called? Phantom of the Opera. No, that band that did that California song. Ah, uh, Phantom Planet. Phantom Planet. Oh, that one. Is that it? Yeah, I'm not thinking of that song. I'd never think about that band. I like that band. I like the OC's TV show. Yeah, exactly. That's him. That's them. Like Seth and that hot chick. And the drummer from them is Jason. Other guy, that actor, Ooh. Jason. Shit, what's his name? What is Nathan thinking? What have you done, Nathan? Got me thinking of one song. I'm not trying to overthink it. I just don't know. No, you are. You are overthinking it. No, because I'm going to psychoanalyze you based on your answer. Yeah. It's going to psychologize you. Psychologize you. If you say the wrong song, you, you're fucked. We're going to institutionalize you. Rehab. And I'll say no, no, no. What's your favorite Amy Winehouse song? That's one. That's a good song. That one? Sometimes I sing about Mick's car to the tune of that song. <laughs> well, how do you Zachary. do it? Zachary. Zachary Davis. I think he's a singer of porn, yeah? This is what you call. Shit. Have you figured out your favourite Blink song yet? But oh, when it goes into the next song? Oh, yeah, with the... That's it, dude. That's, that's, that's my favourite Blink song right there. <laughs> Yeah, that one. So is that, are we going for one or two drum sounds for this album? Yeah. Roll. That's it. That's my favourite Blink song. It's funny, this this song was probably like filler. Probably like, oh, a little, little bit of a filler track between songs. And now it's your favourite mm. of all their songs. Los Angeles. This one's the one. This is the one? Where will you save me, Los Angeles? I like that X Men riff. Yeah. That's cool. Just use the X Men riff. Can you put the X Men riff in one of our songs? The correct answer is, of course. Man overboard. Skin wise, I'm really half Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I fully can't believe how dark your legs are. And those knees. Look at those knees. <laughs> That reminded me of a kid jumping through a sprinkler. Yes. <laughs> That's precisely what it was. Nathan, I've got a task for you. Gaff at the bottom of that so it doesn't move. Yeah. Gaff it the dick off. We'll probably just sample his whole kit just in case we need it. Yeah. But I'm going to try and keep it all as natural as possible and not replace anything. I might blend in samples, but I won't replace anything. But it's good to have them in case you need them. That's not going anywhere. I actually meant on the stand, the bottom bit where it joins, but that's good too. I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> Are you for real? I mean, yeah, see how that stand wobbles? That, that ain't moving bit. at all. That bit. <laughs> I know what you meant. Just cover the whole thing. <laughs> you was a job, you just didn't get it right away. What have we got? We got a Shure SM7B, <clears throat> the podcaster's microphone of choice. This is the one that every podcaster uses because Joe Rogan uses it so um everyone does that's what it looks like without its vocal. without its sheath why'd you take the uh, sheath oh, because um it kills a bit of the high end and I want to use my end because it's much more high end it's a pop filter for when you're doing vocals and for the snare we've got the classic 57 57 because you can't beat it you just can't 
can't boot it. And what the fuck is Maybe that? I call it the, the slug. What's it called? <laughs> the slug. Sure. The beta. <laughs> sure beta. I can't. It's upside down. Fifty six A. Yeah, she's a good fifty six A. That one. Yeah, classic. AKA the chode. <laughs> the chode. Is that a vocal mic? That's a drum mic. It is a drum mic. A lot of vocal, a lot of drummers use it for a vocal mic for its compactability. So it's a vocal mic, but only if you're a drummer, because it's a drum <laughs> mic. Yeah. It's yeah. Zachary's. Jeez, how are you going to sing into that from over here? I yell for the choice of overheads. Yeah. It's the mic. <laughs> Using the mic. The mic. The yeah. mic. The microphone. <laughs> what is it really though? It's a sure NT5. Sure, everything sure. No, it's not sure, it's a Rode NT5. Yeah, you fucked yeah. up. Rode, Australian brand. Am I right? Yeah, that's correct. You're correcting yeah. there. Put us on the map. Oh uh, look. Oh I'm Mick. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic. Oh we come there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, fuck that. Just getting into that. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, Nath, can you play me a drum beat, please? I'm not even joking right now. Really? Yeah. Ooh, dark, ominous tones. That's pretty far out, man. Ooh, ah, ooh. Far out, Russell Sprout. <laughs> Whoa! Maybe Watch it, buddy. Maybe don't die over there. I'll fuck you up, mate. Hey, that's my fan. <laughs> that didn't make sense. No, it didn't. Didn't. It a good try. How come the snare sounds so good right now? You have to hold a measuring tape on your snare for the whole album. Well, I want shit to be in phase and I don't want weird snares happening. Have you ever seen a man use a measuring tape to place his microphones? You should have. Is that par for the course? Is that normal? That's why I'm not a sound engineer and you are. That's normal, but I fucking never do it because I'm lazy. That's why he's the best. It looks way away for me. It's weird. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We need to balance your kit around them. You know what I mean? So set them at the same level. So that's really close to that symbol. So you got to move the symbols to match the mics. Well, you, you want the snare because the snare's the loudest and it comes through every microphone. So you want it to be even in your room mics so that it's in phase. Ah, I get you. It's balanced. So the snare is central to those two mics and then everything else needs to be balanced around that. Cool. I'm learning. Are you learning? Well, you're a drummer, you know this shit already. I invented this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the purpose of the tape on the cymbal? It just makes it stick. Do I have Nanny? That was. Bring that back a bit. I'm being precise because I want it to fucking work. Yeah, alright. So, what's 1290 times 2? Quick! 28. 25. 80. Is that wrong? How do you feel about that, Nathan? Go. It doesn't feel balanced to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, shit's cool. Just whatever. Just let me hit shit. Yeah. Like a recording studio. <laughs> Did you actually catch that? Yeah. You're a fucking legend. Come on. Do it again. Casey Ryback or Casey Chambers? Fuck me. Whoa. 
<laughs> that. Room is that one. Every time I try to film Mick doing something, I walk away from you fucking bend over and show your ass. I don't mean to. <laughs> that in it. He's like, oh, you noticed? He's like, oh, you want to film this? Here's my butt. Here's my butt. <laughs> Kick! Snare again, please. Uh, hat. Alright, it's funny, you know, that ride mic is picking up the overhead well and everything else. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to turn the overheads up a bit. Can you hit your snare, please? Right, it sounds nice. <laughs> it's the only song you can play on just a ride. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's compulsory. That's really annoying. Yeah, it's super annoying. <laughs> Drums are all mic'd. It's guy love. That's what it is. That's for my dude appreciation post. Yeah, what were you saying? It's your third album. Third album together. We've done shitload of other recording, but third full album together. This is my first Verona Lights album. Even though I was there playing <coughs> the gig when Address Deal was launched, and I've been in the band since before Address Deal was launched, I actually don't play bass on Address Deal. Okay because the previous bass player was still in the band at that point. So uh, it was really hard to play those songs because when you play someone else's bits, like, it's not stuff that you would have written. It doesn't like come naturally out of your hand. Like it doesn't feel like your, your style. So I'm keen to rub my own stank yes. all over this album to make the bass andery. Ander it up. Ander it up. I'll make it a bit andery. 